Spectral subtraction can be a useful aid in the identification of mixed material samples. Correct use of the subtraction tool can isolate spectra of individual materials in the mixture. The first step is to find a reference spectrum of one of the components of the mixture. This can be from a library search or running a pure material that is believed to be in the mixture. Omnic software installs a number of spectral files on your hard drive. These can be used to practice the available tools found on the menus. For this tutorial, we will use the files submix.spa and subref.spa to demonstrate the recommended use of the subtraction tool. Before the interactive subtraction can start, the spectra need to be in a linear y-axis scale. Absorbance, log 1 over r, Kubelka Monk are some examples. The two spectra need to be selected in the Omnic window by clicking on the mixture spectrum first and while holding the control key, click on the reference spectrum. The two data sets will then be selected in the correct order. The title bar will read two spectra selected and the subtraction process can proceed. Omnic will calculate a scale factor for the subtraction when this tool is called. By adjusting the display in the Omnic window to target an optimum spectral range, Omnic will make a better first guess at this factor. Try to avoid regions with off-scale peaks while looking for regions where differences can be observed. The scale factor is the number that is multiplied by the reference spectrum to change the intensity of all the peaks before the subtraction occurs. This will help if the spectrum was not collected with the same sample thickness or concentration as the mixture spectrum. On the process menu, select the subtract command. A new window, the subtraction task window, will be opened and the selected spectral will be imported into it. The three frames seen will be the mixed sample spectrum on top, the reference spectrum in the center, and the subtraction result at the bottom. Use the expand and contract buttons on the right side of the result frame to adjust this display to enhance viewing the fine details of the subtraction. Using the vertical slide on the right side of the subtraction task window, the scale factor can be interactively changed while viewing the subtraction result. A good setting is when all the peaks seen in the reference spectrum are removed in the result, keeping in mind that some peaks may be present in both. The reference peak should not be positive or negative in the result, and by moving the slide up and down, peaks will be seen to go positive and negative, allowing for a good midpoint to be found. Should the slider reach the lower or upper limits of its range before a good subtraction is found, use the course button below the slider to expand the range the factor can be changed, and then continue the adjustment. If the movement of the slider makes the adjustment too rapid to discover a correct setting, Use the Find button below the slider to limit the range the factor can be changed. The factor can also be manually set using the Factor button above the slider to enter an exact value. To complete the subtraction and save the result into an Omnic Spectral window, use the button found to the right of the title bar just above the top spectral frame. This button will either display the words Add or Replace, depending on the desired result. This can be changed by dropping down the list on the title bar and selecting the needed result. It is not recommended to replace the original mixture spectrum unless it has been saved, so it can be recalled if needed. The subtraction result can be placed back into the window that has the original spectrum, any other open Omnic window, or a new Omnic window by making the correct selection on the list. The subtraction result can now be further reviewed or search to identify the second component in the mixture. If it appears that there's still more than one component in the result, additional subtractions can be attempted using different reference spectra. 